Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find inverse Laplace transform by using convolution theorem. So first here we have to write down statement of this convolution theorem, right? So yes, if we have this L inverse of this f of s is f of t and L inverse of this g of s is g of t then we can find L inverse of this f of s into g of s by using this formula. This is integral within limit 0 to t. Here we have this is integration of this f of u into g of t minus u and this integration with respect to u right or we can write this is as integral within limit 0 to t of this function this is here we have this is g of u into f of t minus u this integration is with respect to u so what is here yes we have given two function of which we know inverse laplace right then the inverse laplace transform of product of this f of s and g of s is given by this integral yes here we have integration of f of u into g of t minus u this integration is with respect to u and limit of integration this is r here 0 to t right here yes we have this is f of t and g of t right from this is we can find f of u and g of t minus u right Yes, the meaning of this both integral is same here. Just we have reversed this function here, right? Now, let's understand this theorem by one simple example, right? If we have to find this is L inverse of 1 upon this S square into this S square plus 1, right? Now, we have to find L inverse of this is. What we have to do first here? we have to divide this into function f of s and g of s such that we can find its inverse separately right that means we can write this is as a 1 upon s square and this is into 1 upon s square plus 1 right and we can find inverse of these two functions separately here here we have this is let if we have if we call this is first function this is f of s this is as a 1 upon s square and this g of s this is as a 1 upon s square plus 1 right now we can find inverse of this is l inverse of f of s right what is the inverse of this 1 upon s square yes we know that this is t right and l inverse of this g of s right so what is the L inverse of this 1 upon s square plus 1? This is sine of t, right? Now this is we have find this is f of t here and this is here we have find g of t, right? Now we have to find inverse of this by using this theorem, right? So that we can find here, here this is f of t, right? f of t is here this is t that means f of u is here this is by replacing t by u so here we have this f of u this is u right what is g of t g of t is here sine of t and that gives g of t minus u what is this this is sine of t minus u right so now yes we have to put this values in this integral right so here we have l inverse of this f of s into g of s right this is given by yes integral within limit 0 to t of this f of u into this g of t minus u this integration is with respect to u right now we have to put value of this f of u and g of t minus u. 
f of u this is here u and this g of t minus u this is sin of t minus u right now we have to find integration of this is here this is by Liet rule this is first function and this one is second now we have to apply integration by parts here right so we know that we can use generalized rule of integration by parts right so here we have is yes, this is first function and this is second so yes this is first function into integral of this sine true so here integral of sine this is cos of t minus u and this integration is with respect to u that means here we have this is minus 1 right then minus derivative of this function this is 1 and integral of this one right so integral of this so this minus minus get plus and cos integral this is sine of t minus u right and this integration with respect to u so here again we have here minus right and this is within limit 0 to t right and we have applied generalized rule of integration by parts right so now yes we can do the simplification here so here we have this is minus minus get plus so here we have u into cos of t minus u and this again minus minus plus here and this is sine of t minus u right now we have to put the limit right so this integration is with respect to u right that means we have to put u is equals to this t here right u is equals to t and u is equals to 0 right so we have to put the limit here so first when we put u is equals to t so here we have t into cos of this is t minus t right and plus sine of this is t minus t right this is for upper limit now for lower limit here we have we have to put u is equals to 0 so for this is we have 0 right and plus sine of this is t minus 0 right so simplification of this is this is t into cos of 0 right plus sine of 0 right and this is minus here we have 0 plus sine right so here we have this is sine of t right so on simplification this is t into cos of 0 this is 1 and sine 0 this is 0 and this is minus sine t so we got here this is t minus sine t right and this is we have find l inverse of this f of s into g of s right and what is this function this is here we have 1 upon s square plus 1 into s square right we have find this is t minus sine t this is the laplace inverse of this function right so here we have find l inverse by using convolution theorem right so what we have to remember here yes when we have to apply convolution theorem for finding l inverse yes we have to divide this given function in two functions such that we can find its l inverse separately right then by applying this integral right we can find l inverse right yes here we have used this first integral for finding l inverse of this function now let's check by this integral here yes by this second integral yes what is here l inverse of this is 1 upon s square into s square plus 1 yes what is this integral of this is g of u into f of t minus u right this is integral with respect to u right here we have find value of g of t and f of t right so from this is what is g of u yes we have to simply yes replace this t by u so here we have this is sine of u right and what is f of t minus u 
we have this is f of t is equals to t so how to find t f of t minus u yes this is simply replacing this is t by this is t minus u right here we have f of t is equals to t right so how to find f of t minus u yes replacing this t by t minus u and this integration with with respect to u right so here again here we have to write t minus u this is first here and then sine of u right now this integration with respect to u so that means this is first function so t minus u this is first now integral of this is sine integral this is minus cos right and then minus derivative of this function now derivative of this with respect to u so this is here we have minus 1 and integral of this one so this is minus as it is and cos integral this is sine of u right this is within limit 0 to t now we have to simplify this is 3 times minus so here we have this is minus right yes now we have to put the limit so what is here we have to put u is equals to t right so here we have minus of this is u is equals to t that means t minus t right and this is cos of t then sine of t right this is for upper limit now for lower limit we have here u is equals to 0 right that means t minus 0 minus of this right into cos of 0 minus sine of 0 right now this is t minus t 0 right so here we have 0 then this is minus of sine t then this is minus t cos of 0 is 1 sine 0 is 0 right so here we have this is minus of sine t and this is minus minus plus so here we have sine t so we got here this is t minus sine t right so l inverse of this function 1 upon s square into s square plus 1 we have find this is here which we have find this is earlier here right we got this is here so that means we can apply both integral for finding l inverse of given function as per our convenience right so yes what we have to remember here just we have to remember this integral for finding convolution theorem and we have to remember that we have to divide given function into functions such that we can find its l inverse separately right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching